हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक लर्निंग प्लाज्मा फिजिक्स इज आर्ट इन इट सेल्फ एंड प्लेइंग विथ हाई वोल्टेज इज फन अंटिल इट ऑब्लिटरेट्स योर नोशंस एज वेल एज योर नर्व्स बट एनी वेज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेक अ मैसिव कॉकक्रॉफ्ट वोल्टेज मल्टीप्लायर और इन अदर वर्ड्स अ वोल्टेज मल्टीप्लायर विच कुड आउटपुट नियरली अबाउट फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी थाउजेंड वोल्ट and looks mind bending so let's get started as we all know voltage multipliers range supreme in generation of high voltages so first we have two choices to grab upon one being the use of ac voltage as the input of the voltage multipliers which could be a bit dangerous and the other one to use a high frequency ferrite core transformer that could emulate an ac signal so i chose the later one to reduce the risk of fatality of course as well as cranking output voltage levels as per our need To start the build I fished for a ferrite core transformer in my arsenal basically found one and started unwrapping it completely until the bobbin showed its face then carefully separated the bobbin from the ferrite core as this ferrite cores are quite fragile to handle and finally now it was time to start the winding process or rebuilding our transformer So I wound around thousand to twelve hundred turns using a thirty-two gauge enamel copper wire. One side note here: after every one fifty or two hundred turns, use five layers of insulation tape to prevent internal arcing and for better insulation. Then, after the secondary winding was complete, I started winding the primary side with more thicker wire. but to understand that go watch the 20000 volts plasma power source video on my channel in which i have documented everything step by step and i explained it thoroughly after that was done i taped everything firmly so now this transformer can output nearly around 2000 to 3000 volts and when we apply 6 to 7 volts basically our power source is ready now it's time to design the voltage multipliers the schematic of voltage multipliers is quite universal and basically self explanatory the upper stage of capacitors pass ac voltage and the lower stage store dc voltage so now going to the tedious task of building the 12 stage voltage multipliers each stage consists of two capacitors and two diodes each diodes act as check valves and capacitors pass ac and store dc as per their arrangements after building the 12 stage multiplier i wanted to test if it was working as per our considerations and to my surprise it was working just flawlessly and the arcs just fascinated me the power it projected out was quite massive and this forced me to come up with a notice that high voltage is dangerous can be fatal and the pain will be insane so replicate this on your own risk and now it was time to build the enclosure for our multiplier so i took two identical square pvc plates drilled four holes basically one for each corner on both plates fixed 3 inch bolts to hold it in a non precarious way and placed everything in between arranged it as per our need and we were done but wait for the arcs jumping i need a spark gap so i made it I made a spark gap with an adjustable bolts 
so to adjust the distance as well as the power and basically we were done now enjoy the high voltage arcs this is a high quality build and hope you like it and please consider subscribing thank you